What's up YouTube? Got a video for you today. This is going to be my um, only video of the day. Again, because I'm trying to cut back on the amount of videos I'm posting. But um, today I was in the hardware store. And if they had had white gas, I probably would have bought that. But I was like, yo, I kind of wonder if they have any naphtha. Because I hear, at least from what I heard, it's basically like the old school Ronson fluid. Sure enough. I asked the guy um, who works there, and he was a pretty, he was a damn cool dude. I'm not gonna lie to you, because I was like talking about Zippos to him, and I was talking about alternative fuels and shit, and he was like, "Yo, that's awesome, man." But anyway, so I picked up this um, at the hardware store for I think it was like five dollars or something like that. But so I picked this up, and we are going to put it into the Zippo lighter this one to be exact though I've already removed the case or not case or I removed the case from the insert because this is extremely still hard to get out but I don't mind that because if it's extremely tight in there um it key it prevents the insert from riding up so but anyway we're gonna go ahead and fill our lighter up and what I did was is I put na the naphtha because this is my empty um, Ronson, old, old school Ronson container, and how I'll always remember um, this is that what has naphtha in it is it says contains naphtha right there, whereas the new uh, Ronson lighter fluid thing says contains uh, light petroleum desolates or whatever the fuck that says. But um, basically, it's just saying it has naphtha in it without saying it has naphtha is what they're doing. But um, anyway, went ahead and used my Zippo lid to open that. And I am going to pretty much overfill this because this lighter insert um, has not completely dried out. But um, as long as I get it to the point where it's dripping out of the wick, it will um, mainly be lighting the... Okay, guys, hold up a second. There's a fucking mosquito buzzing around me. Again, this is why I hate this town to an extent is because of the amount of goddamn bugs that there are. Alrighty, and we are dripping, as you guys can see there. Dripping a lot, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and get a paper towel and wipe this off. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out with a Lucky Strike and see what the flavor is like. See if it's different, anything's changed. But uh, yeah, but again, guys, this is, it's not as much of a good deal as, let's say, camp gas, but from what I hear, it works, so we're about to find out. And that shit dried the skin out on my thumb. But anyway, we can go ahead and put our insert back in here. And the insert is actually starting to get looser finally, which I like. And what do you know? Works like a charm. Hmm. So as far as I can tell y'all, this Zippo is working just as good as it was with lighter fluid. And again, it's packed with lighter fluid now. Well, a mixture, Honestly, I'd say it's 75% naphtha right now and 25% um, old school Ronson lighter fluid, which is naphtha, but yeah. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get a lucky strike out of our pack here. Unfortunately, today I was carrying this in my pocket, so it got kind of crushed, but oh well. I don't have many of these cigarettes left, and I still have not finished my pack of Camel non-filtereds which I really, really need to do because those things are over a year old. I'm guessing they had been sitting in that uh, grocery store that I paid $9 for those cigarettes at. I'm guessing they had been sitting in there for a good year before I came along because not many people smoke unfiltered anymore. Go ahead and wipe this bad boy up. Okay. 
okay? Honestly, guys, I do not tell a difference between this and lighter fluid, which honestly surprised me. I thought I was going to be able to taste it. This is going to be more nasty. But uh, sure enough, no. The shit is literally lighter fluid. Just being sold. And what I think is funny is when we read the back of here, it says, where does it say it? Not for sale or use in California. Yet you can buy lighter fluid over there. So, oh well. Rip Californians for getting, uh, for not being able to get uh, cheap Zippo fluid. However, I will note that the lighter fluid taste lingers in your cigarette longer with this. But I don't really mind it all that much so but this is a good alternative y'all if you cannot find uh coleman camp gas um you can pick yourself up a, a little ass container of uh napa man again cannot say enough good things about this smoke by far the best cigarette I have ever had thus far. And also a little update, guys. So I was initially supposed to go into work today and tomorrow on Sunday, but guess what's happened? So apparently there was a coworker at my store who, um, what is it? Ha yeah, had COVID, COVID-19, and she had stayed out of work for three weeks. Then she came back, and as soon as she came back, she got sick again. She started throwing up in the in the store, and so it it was not pleasant. And so they sent her home, and apparently the COVID came back. And after that, that's when I got the stomach virus for a day, and then I overcame it. And then after that, um, two other coworkers that I work with. Um, one has been working there for, I think, two and a half years, the other only a couple months, and me only like three weeks. But uh, so basically they're having us all stay home right now until we get a COVID test. That's what I was told. They were like, uh, you, we kind of would prefer you stay out of work for now um, until you can get a COVID test. So tomorrow, guys, I'm going to have to go down the road there's a little uh, emergency health clinic and they do seven days a week testing. However, I'm going to actually get two tests. I'm going to get the antibody test because if I got it and that stomach bug was like the only symptom that I ever had of COVID and somehow I was able to overcome COVID really, really fast, which if I actually had COVID, I don't think um, that would be the case because I didn't ever lose my taste. From what I hear, you lose your taste, taste buds. You can't taste shit for several months after having COVID. But just in case, I'm gonna get both tests and uh, we'll see what happens. And if they say, oh, I'm positive, then I'm gonna have to stay home for at least 10 days. And that is really gonna suck because then actually I might even start posting videos more frequently if I'm stuck at home all day, every day. But something else um, kind of interesting that happened to me today. I was at the pizza place um, picking up uh, food while my grandfather was. I was just standing outside smoking. And this family, mother, I think her daughter and her daughter's friend who was older, got out of the car and the blonde head headed girl who was the uh, daughter's friend uh, as she was uh, walking into the pizza place, kept staring at me, just standing there smoking, walking around the parking lot, and was like, uh, I like your strut. And I was like, thanks, man. You too. Or something. And then, interestingly enough, she came out to the car while they were in there ordering pizza, watching me, and then went back in. And then when they came out of the pizza place, both her and the daughter walked over to me as I was smoking a cigarette and I was almost done at that time and was like, uh, can I get your phone number? And I was like, 
Um, okay. <laughs> So that was kind of, of a, a lucky experience, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Fantastic cigarette. But yeah, I just, I just thought it, I got a kick out of that. Sure enough, still working. So I do believe I will be using naphtha since I can't find at the Walmart down here. I cannot find any Coleman Camp fuel. So until I can, I'm just gonna be using that naphtha as a cheap alternative to lighter fluid. But uh, yeah. And I'll have to watch how fast my wick gets charred um, with this stuff, because I know with the white gas, it blackens your Zippo up extremely fast. But, this stuff almost seems to be more reliable than even camp gas. However, camp gas, you get for $10 a gallon of the shit, and it works. And this stuff is $5 for a quart. And four quarts make a gallon, so um, I'd have to pay $20 per gallon using this versus $10. So this, this shit's basically twice the cost of um, Coleman camp fuel. However, if it turns out to be less um, charring of the wick, then I most likely will just switch to using this from now on. But uh, yeah. And again, yeah. If I had to guess, my company that I work for is just uh, really doesn't want to take chances right now. Because again, <clears throat> both my coworkers just came down with COVID within this week, so. Chances are, honestly guys, that I have it. But if I do, um, it's taking a while for it to kick in. Like I, I've shown no symptoms other, again, than that stomach bug or what I think was a stomach bug that one day. But, um, there are some people like that with COVID-19, guys. Um, you can uh, be exposed to it and test positive, and you'll never show a symptom, ever, of having it. Like my cousin, my youngest cousin, um, she had it and tested positive, and uh, she never showed any symptoms and quickly got over it, so... I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, though, guys. If you like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, anything you do helps, and I'll see you in the next video.